Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have three squares, and in these three squares are inscribed a semicircle, and the dimension of the diameter of the semicircle is five. What's the total area of the squares? But before we go to the solution, may I request you to please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, so first thing that we need to do is we need to label the lengths of the squares. So if we label this blue square as A, and this side is also A, then if we label this green square as a side of B, then this is B, and this is B also, and this is the difference of the two squares, the blue and the green, that should be A minus B. And next is we consider the radius of this semicircle. So the radius of the semicircle is equal to the sum of the length of the two squares divided by 2, and that is A plus B all over 2. Okay, so next is we consider this length. This is actually B minus A minus B. And that is equal to B minus A plus B. And that would be 2B minus A. Okay, so next is we draw line from the center of the semicircle and to the topmost part of the semicircle. And we label this part as A plus B all over 2 because it is the radius of the semicircle. And this portion or length we label this as, this has a length of A plus B over 2 minus this length 2B minus A. So A plus B all over 2 minus 2B minus A. Then you have A over 2 plus B over 2 minus 4 b all over 2 plus 2 a over 2 so we have negative 3 b and positive 3 a all over 2 so that length would be 3 over 2 times A minus B. Okay, so next thing that we have to do is we need to isolate this triangle. And this is actually a right triangle. And this side is B. So if that is a right triangle, then by Pythagorean theorem, this is B. Then this is 3 halves times A minus B. Then this is A plus B all over 2. Then by Pythagorean theorem, we have A plus B all over 2 squared is equal to 3 over 2 times A minus B squared plus B squared. Then we can simplify this as A squared plus 2ab plus b square times 1 fourth or all over 4 and this becomes 9 over 4 times a square minus 2ab plus b square then plus b square then if we multiply the whole 
equation by 4, we have a square plus 2ab plus b square is equal to 9. And we multiply this all by 9. So we have 9a squared minus 18ab plus 9b squared plus 4b squared. Then we simplify. Then this 9a squared minus a squared. If you put that a squared to the right, then you have 8a squared. Then for the a, b, then this would be negative 18 minus 2. Then you have negative 20 a, b. Then for the b square, you have 9 plus 4 is equal to 13 minus 1. Then you have 12 plus 12 b square. And if we divide this by 4, or multiply it by one fourth, then we have two a square minus five a b plus three b square. Then we are to solve this resulting quadratic equation. Next is we now solve the resulting quadratic equation, but first we need to multiply the coefficient of the first term the coefficient of the third term and that gives us a square minus 5ab plus 6b square so we can solve this by factoring so the factors of 6 positive 6 that will give an algebraic sum of negative 5 are a minus 3b and for this one we have a minus 2b equal to 0 then since we have multiplied this by 2 the third term then we have to divide this by 2 then we have for the first factor we have to multiply the 2 here so that becomes 2a minus 3b times 2 divided by 2 is 1 so we have a minus b equal to 0 so we have two solutions actually. So we have 2ab, 2a minus 3b is equal to 0. And a minus b is equal to 0. So for the first one, we have a is equal to 3b all over 2. Or a is equal to 3 halves of b. And for the next one, we have a is equal to b. But actually, we are going to take only this solution, the first one, because if we take that A is equal to B, then the figure will not be in the correspondence with the solution. Because if A is equal to B, then we will have only two squares and there is no third square. So we will take only A is equal to 3B over 2. Okay, so. Let us go to the given that a plus b is equal to 5. For the sum of the sides of the two squares is equal to the diameter of the semicircle that is given. But we got earlier that a is equal to 3b over 2. So we replace a with 3b over 2 plus b is equal to 5. Then, simplifying the left side, we have 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 3, 3b, plus 2 divided by 1 is 2. Then, multiplied by 1, then we have 2b is equal to 5. So, 5b is equal to 10. So, b is equal to 10 over 5, which is 2. Okay, so next is we find the value of A. So A is equal to 5 minus B. Then A is equal to 5 minus the value of B, which is 2. So A is equal to actually 3 units.
Okay, so now for the final step is we find the area or the total area of the three squares and that is by inspection we have area is equal to a square which is the area of the blue square the largest square plus b square or the green square second largest square then plus a minus b which is the area of the yellow square and we have for the area is 3 square for a square plus 2 square plus a minus b which is 3 minus 2 square then area is equal to 9 plus 4 plus 3 minus 2 is 1 square that becomes 1 so the total area is equal to 14 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye